Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I am sharing my Amazon back to school haul part two. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 12 and 15. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So today is my Amazon back to school part two haul. Um, I did already share part one and that had a lot of like back to school supplies and a few random like home supplies in it. I will link that video down below if you're interested. But today's Amazon haul is all about the books and games that I purchased for the upcoming school year. Majority of the books that you're going to see in the stack that I purchased, majority of them do go with our um, curriculum, specifically our, our uh, what is it called? I almost said our high school curriculum, but that's not accurate. Um, our history, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> majority of these books go with our history curriculum this year with a couple of just fun books mixed in that I knew my kids would enjoy. But we are going to start off with the games because I did not actually purchase as many games as I thought that I did. I only got three. So <laughs> That's actually really good for me. But we are going to start off with games. And the first thing that I picked up is Canoodle Ultimate Champion. I purchased this with Lydia in mind, my 12 year old. She loves all the different versions of Canoodle. We have like four different versions already, five now um, of Canoodle. But this one looks like a lot of fun because it has a little timer on oop, I'm dropping everything it has a little timer on it and I just think that she's really going to enjoy this and this is definitely something um like a canoodle game you know a single player game that I like to have her use if I you know become a little busy or I have to help my oldest daughter when we're homeschooling so this is really useful <laughs> and fun those are really fun now the next thing that I picked up is actually something I've had on my wish list for a while and this is guess in 10 legendary landmarks this is like something I would enjoy <laughs> I love anything history geography you know all, anything like that I really enjoy but my girls do really love these kind of like trivia type guess in 10 games we have a whole bunch of different ones and I'm so happy that I finally have the legendary landmarks um, especially because my youngest and I are going to be focusing on geography um, a lot over the next two years so this is going to probably be something I keep in like my morning basket okay so the last of like the games is another like little trivia um, type of game. And this is, it's called 100 Picks. And this is, can you guess them all, Road Signs. Now, this I kind of got a little bit as a joke. Um, but then I realized, you know what, this is actually pretty, pretty neat. <laughs> So my oldest is actually going to start driving in August. She um, is going to, I know, I know, um, she's going to start driving in August. These are like flashcards. I have a few of these different versions, but this one is road signs. So I thought that this would be fun to help her practice what road signs mean what. I'm trying to open it. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. I feel unprepared. So what it is is that you look at a road sign. You have to try and... Um, guess what it is and then you just slide this across and it'll give you the answer but again they have different versions of this we have I think the flags and the countries I want to say but I bought this one because again my oldest is going to start driving I thought that this would be kind of funny but useful and these are really good for like on the go and we're going to be doing a lot more car schooling this year so that'll be useful but that's it when it comes with games so let's take a look at the books I'm going to show you the book that I purchased used first, and that is Horrible Histories, Awesome Egyptians. So this, again, it goes with her, my, well, both of my kids' history program this year. So I did pick up this one. It looks like a pretty short read. I think my youngest will like that it still has pictures in it, so that's nice, but not very long but okay so now the rest of the books that I'm going to be sharing with you are actually books that I purchased when Amazon was having their buy three for the price of two sale which made it really affordable to purchase these books brand new opposed to used it was actually cheaper to purchase them new than used with this sale and the first book that I picked up is a visitor's guide to Jane Austen's England again keep in mind these books are for a history program we're going to be using um, and this one says immerse yourself in the vanished world inhabited by Austen's contemporaries packed with details this is an intimate exploration of how the middle and upper class lived from 1775 the year of Austin's birth to the coronation of George in 1820 so yeah 
This looks interesting. This is still something I think that I would read even if, <laughs> even if it wasn't like a part of my kids' curriculum. But this one just seems really interested, um, interesting to me. I love anything history. Okay, next up we have a fun read. This is actually going to be a gift to my oldest daughter. Um, this is Demon Slayer, One Winged Butterfly. Now, she really loves anime and mangas, and she does really like Demon Slayer. And this um, book is actually more of a novel. Um, so it is a little bit different, but it's supposed to have like five different stories that you're following um, for the different characters from the anime Demon Slayer. So she's really going to like this. She's been asking for these like novel type um, Demon Slayer books for a while. Finally got one because it was on sale. So she's really going to enjoy this. Okay, next up I have 24 Hours in Ancient Rome, A Day in the Life of the People Who Live There just as it sounds you guys this book is just as the title sounds again history reader this one I think I'm only going to be using with my oldest though haven't quite decided so this one again I will probably read most of these um because I'm just like that I like to read the same books as my kids even if they're like kids books <laughs> I like to do that so next up I have 1493 from Columbus's voyage to globalization this is a pretty thick book Ooh, I didn't know there was pictures in there. I like when they add pictures. <laughs> Read, and it's about exactly what the title sounds like. So <laughs> there's that. And then I also picked up the complete first edition, the original folk and fairy tales of the Brothers Grimm. I know my oldest daughter's gonna love this. She loves fairy tales, but she likes the original fairy tales that don't always end with the happily ever after. She says that it is kind of, it gives it like that shock factor. <laughs> You know, so she likes that when she reads books is, you know, to be like, I can't believe that happened or, or things like that. And I think that this book is going to give that to her this year. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty hefty book, but I think she'll enjoy it. And then I also picked up Between Shades of Grey. Now this one, my oldest daughter specifically requested to read off of her history reader list because she said it sounded really, really good. And I'm just now noticing that it also says that it is a major motion picture. So we will probably watch the movie as well. But this one is about how a knock comes at the door in the dead of night and Lena's life changes in an instant with her young brother and mother. She is hauled away by the Soviet secret police from her home in Lithuania and thrown into a cattle car en route to Siberia. Separated from her father, Lena secretly passes along clues in the form of drawings, hoping they will reach his prison camp. But will her letters or her courage be enough to reunite her family? This one does sound interesting. I'm probably going to read this one as well. Okay, I also purchased Consider the Fork, A History of How We Cook and Eat. This is one that I'm actually looking forward to reading. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to use this with my oldest or my youngest daughter, but I know I wanted to read it, so <laughs> I did purchase it. Um, it says, since prehistory, humans have braved sharp knives, fires, and grindstones to transform raw ingredients into something delicious or at least edible. But these tools have also transformed how we consume and how we think about our food. Again, I mean, some people might think really, but I would really enjoy reading that. Next up, I have Guts and Glory World War II. Devastating surprise attacks, epic victories, unstoppable armies, and tough as nails men and women from the greatest war in history. Now, this book was actually thicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought that this was going to be more of like a graphic novel, but it is an actual like regular book. So <laughs> I don't know which kid is going to read this, but I know one of them possibly both of them will um, but this one again sounds pretty interesting and then I also picked up this um, it is DK Remarkable Diaries the world's greatest diaries journals notebooks and letters now what's funny about this book is that I actually had this on my wish list before I realized it was even a part of the history program my kids are going to be doing this is definitely something that I am looking forward to reading now I know my oldest daughter who happens to love writing and loves you know journalism and invest investigative journalism and all of that I think she's going to get a kick out of reading the diaries notebooks and letters and journals and all of that of people from history so this just looks like a lot of fun let me show I mean some people are like really a book fun but yes a book is fun to me but here is what it looks like on the inside some great pictures in here documents I just think that this looks amazing I'm like so excited you can even see me I'm like super <laughs> getting super excited about this book 
Okay, now the last few that I have are actually graphic novels and comics. Again, these are going with that history program as well. I know I keep on saying that, I'm sorry. But the first one I have is Beowulf, a graphic novel adaptation. This one looked interesting. And in fact, this was actually on my oldest daughter's reading list and she never got to it. So I just told her to hold off, don't get into that book and she could just read the graphic novel um this upcoming year so she's really excited about that but this looks really interesting really look at those pictures you guys this will be a really quick read though for her i also picked up hazardous tales cold war correspondent a korean war tale these look interesting we've never read any of these nathan hale hazardous tales before so i'm interested to see if my kids enjoy these i mean it's a comic or graphic novel they they will <laughs> they most likely will um enjoy this over a regular book and then i also have hazardous tales blades of freedom a tale of haiti napoleon and the louisiana purchase did i pronounce that right i hope i did but there's that one and again never used these ones before but they do look pretty interesting I picked up Division to Unification in Imperial China, The Three Kingdoms to the Tang, I think it's the Tang Dynasty, 220 to 907. I actually have two more of these books that are supposed to be coming in. I'll put a picture here. They just didn't make it in time for this video. They got delayed, but I did, like I said, pick up two more um, of these types of books about um, China. So. I will put sorry about that my camera died and I still have one more book to show you and the last book is the art of war a graphic novel this one looks really interesting I do like the pictures and again this is something I think I'm going to use with both of my kids this year um my oldest daughter did again have this one on her reading list like she did Beowulf and she just never got to it so I'm just gonna have her read the graphic novel version and you know call it a day so <laughs> This is the last book that I had to share with you, but again, it did look interesting. And so that is it for today. Let me know in a comment what you purchased that you're really excited for, for your homeschool for this upcoming year, or, you know, just anything that you purchased for yourself that you are really excited for. I'd love to hear about it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.